Aleluia! God has always confirmed over and again that Shiloh is a divine mandate. And no assumption, we have to return the glory back to him. From the first Shiloh 21 years ago, till now, there has been no ordinary Shiloh in this place. Amen. And for that, we owe him thanks. God has a particular nature. He waits to be acknowledged for the last before he does the next. Were there are not ten claims where we are denying. Only this one return. Okay, only him qualifies for the next. We want to be considered qualified for his wondrous acts in 2020. And all we need to do is to acknowledge him for the wonders of the past Shiloh. 1999, one of the young ladies here who had been crippled for 23 years, Jesus raised her up. And when she turned 60 in 2017, she came back here walking on her two legs. Nobody prayed over her. The God of Shiloh just visited her. She said, Dickness in one of our churches in Benin today. Jesus raised her and kept her raised. Is worthy of acknowledgement. A family here got separated for seven years, divorced. The man had married twice after that and divorced. The man got saved and was at Shiloh 2016 or 2017. The woman also is saved and is in church and just serving God with all her heart. And you can't believe on Saturday with that mammoth crowd. The two of them met at the gate. Are you now born again? He said, yes. I'm a child of God and I worship here. I'm also born again. He said, I've been praying that we will meet and get back. They got reunited at the gate. <laughs> at the gate. With that crowd, crowd that extended to the gate on a Saturday, they met at the gate and the seven years or the or eleven years or something, I can't remember. Is it seven or eleven? Seven years, okay. God restored at the gate of Shiloh. Amen. We all got thanks. That's that's not an arrangement. That's a divine manifestation. We all got thanks. A woman slept here blind, woke up in the morning. I can see light. I can see light. And that was the end of it. Nobody prayed over her. Lift up your two hands, please. And let's celebrate the faithfulness of God, the God of Shiloh. Let's magnify him. Thank you for the wonders of the past Shiloh. Validating that Shiloh is your mandate in our midst and in the lives of individuals, let's give him thanks. Let's give him praise. All the glory must be to the Lord. Choir leaders, that song is worthy of our praise that no man or not should give glory to himself. All the glory must be to the Lord. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed.
we worship in that song for two, three minutes, all the glory must be to the Lord. Now give it to him from the depth of your heart and do that on behalf of the entire commission and all of our extensions around the world for his manifest presence for 21 shilos past. This is 22nd today. Amen. All the glory was due to the Lord. For He is worthy of our praise. No man on no earth should be glory. Blessed be your name. We know you will do it again. You are the God of again and again. Shiloh 2020 will not be forgotten in a hurry. It shall be your mountain of solution. It shall be your mountain of breakthroughs. It shall be your mountain of divine visitation. It shall be your mountain of turnarounds indeed. In the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. It's my year of breaking limits. Give Jesus the biggest clap offering and please you may be comfortably seated. The first word we have is quite a stage setting word. We serve a covenant keeping God, not a Father Christmas God. There are things we must do before we can commit God to confirm His word. As many as are set for this great God, Expect his great visitation all through Shiloh 2020. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'll be speaking to us on understanding your turn around route. Understanding your turn around route. At redemption, God becomes your father and my father. And this father is a turn around God. He stepped in on the scene in Genesis chapter 1 as the turn around God. The earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the deep and God said, this is not the way it should be. 
And he came and gave shape and color and beauty and glory and honor to the world. By the turnaround power that accompanies him. We have a turn around God. The turn around God visited Sarah, as he has said. And Sarah considered and bear Abraham a son in her old age. And Sarah said, Who would have thought that Sarah would give suck to a child? Turn around God. We serve a turn around God. He turned the table against the three kings that came to devour Judah. And the Lord set ambushment against These three nations, the children of Ammon, Mount Seir, and Moab, and not one of them escaped. Now, each of them was stronger than Judah. The turn around God came in and turned his hand against them. In the same vein, this turn around God will come down for you <laughs> at Chilo. 2020. Yeah. When the Lord turned again, the capital of Zion were like them that dream. So you have a turn around God. Also at redemption, we have a turn around Savior. His name is Jesus. When you are born again, all things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Everything turns at new birth. We have a turn around Savior. A widow was going to bury her only son. They call her the widow of name. And the turn around Savior stepped in. And gave him back alive to the mother. We serve a torn around Savior. Lazarus was buried four days dead, already is thinking. The turn around Savior stepped on the same, and Lazarus bounced back to life. We serve and have a torn around Savior. There was a great storm on the sea, and he stepped in. In chapter 8 of Matthew, and there was a great calm. And what manner of man is this? We have a torn around Savior. We have a torn around Savior. We have a torn around Savior. Very interesting. It was an exclamation, not a question mark. We have seen strange things today. Luke 5, 26. We have never seen this in this fashion. Mark 2 and verse 12. It was an exclamation, not a question mark. Everyone is returning from Shiloh. An exclamation to your wall. <laughs> And no more a question mark. <laughs> After Shiloh 2020, nobody will ever ask you again, where is your God? <laughs> and the Holy Ghost is a torn around spirit. The Holy Ghost is a torn around spirit. When the poor and the needy cry for water and there is none, 
Isaiah 41 verse 17 and their tongue faileth for thirst I the Lord will hear them I the God of Jacob will not forsake them I will open up rivers in the desert in the wilderness and rivers in their desert the Holy Spirit is a turn around spirit I will pour water upon him that is thirsty Isaiah 44 verse 3 to 4 and floods upon the dry ground I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thy offsprings and what happens and they shall spring up as among the grass as willows by the water courses the Holy Spirit is a torn around spirit it came down the day of Pentecost and they took over the whole city in a matter of weeks the Holy Spirit is a turn around spirit John 14 verse 16 this turn around spirit is in you I will pray the Father and he will give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever 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 understanding your turn around root in Acts chapter 4 they saw a new Peter a new John when they beheld the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were ignorant and unlearned men they took knowledge of them that they had been with Christ the Holy Ghost just transformed them just turned them on the new death came alive the Holy Spirit is a turnaround spirit. The Holy Ghost is a turnaround spirit. The Holy Ghost is a turnaround spirit. And now you belong to a turnaround family. At New Birth, we are now members of the household of God. Ephesians 2.19 We are now members of the household of God. <laughs> So we belong to a torn around family. We belong to a torn around lineage. Now, every child of God is a member of the church. And Jesus is the head of the church. So, you have a tolerant savior as the head of your church family. Amen. Amen. Everything here points to the fact that you have a turnaround heritage. You have what? It. Jacob was a turnaround agent in the house of Laban. I have learned by experience that God has blessed me for your sake. Hallelujah. Genesis 30 and verse 27. Joseph, a turnaround agent in the house of Potiphar. And the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house for the sake of Joseph. Every child of God is redeemed a turnaround agent to his world. Every child. That's what I'm saying. You're a peculiar people. You're a royal priest. You are not a nation. You are chosen to show for the praises of him. Thank God for him. If you were not here, thank God for her. If she were not here, that, sir, listen to me. There is no company you are working in that will ever close down. Amen. Where you are leaving your employment, they'll be begging you to stay. Because of the turnaround grace on your life. Now, listen. 
those who do know their God, not knowing God by his name, but knowing God for who he is, you have a turn around father. You have a turn around savior. You carry within you a turn around spirit. So you are a turn around agent. Now, from now, wherever you step into, the turnaround unction will keep manifesting. <laughs> Jesus came and said, we are the light of the world. We are the salt of the earth. We are assets to our world no liabilities. Remove salt from man's nutrition, his uttermost is all is I mean it's deficient. Life is reduced to struggle. Yes, salt has such powerful value to human existence. And that's who you are. Amen. You are the light of the world, you are the salt of the earth. Amen. You are redeemed a turnaround personality on the earth. Amen. Now, from this moment on, the turnaround grace will start manifesting in your life in a new way. This is very important, please. To know that you have a turn around God as your father. And you are joined here to Jesus, our turn around Savior. And the same Holy Ghost, the turn around Spirit is in you. Uh, you your case is different. <laughs> Therefore, from now, Turn around becomes your new identity. Turn around becomes your new identity. Turn around becomes the new identity of your family. How God humiliated COVID-19 from this platform. Awesome God. We, doc we had 169 documented testimonies from across 25 nations during the lockdown period of people hid online, online, online healing virtue. Where, sir, there, there is no way COVID 19 can survive in these premises. It, it's not possible. It's not. It's not. They are afraid because of who they are. We've been gathering here for how long? Where is the outbreak? Can't tell you. They brought somebody here from Cote d'Ivoire, stuck mad for 20 years. As they passed the gate, bound with chains, as they brought him through the gate for Shiloh 2018, all the demons left her this point. <laughs> she walked up by himself to the premises. A free man is still free today. <laughs> Hallelujah, amen. Is still free today. One virus had the entire world to I'm to, to stand still. is a victim of what he fears. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Everybody. Fear is a plague. You submit to it, it torments you. Yes. Fear has torment. It's precious to torment his victims. Anybody promoting this plague they better be careful. They better be careful. In the name of Jesus, I cause the root of COVID-19 in the entire world. Yeah. 
Somebody I had bone marrow cancer and hooked on to the service, a communion service in India and took biscuits on the, on the top of their fridge and Fanta and was back for a checkup on Tuesday that followed the Sunday. Bone marrow cancer disappeared. Came on the platform one year after to only testify. I was the one Jesus healed of bone marrow cancer. One year ago, I'm here in a heart. Anybody that came here with any disease in the name of Jesus is dropping right now. It's not in your lineage. You are now a member of the household of God. You now belong to the church of Christ. Yes, yes, yes. Every hereditary disease, every generational cause that follow through your natural lineage is broken finally today. The church is the solution center for the world. We are the light of the world. We are, without us, the world has no taste. We are the salt of the earth. Without us, the world will decay. The world will decay. The world will decay. They may not know why COVID, because they, they thought that everybody in Africa will die. They said so. Now, who is dying? Who is dying? The presence of God in this place, I mean, is enough to check out any devil. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, all those projections, where are they now? There have been no place to bury people in Africa. Amen. Shame to the devil. Shame. 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 Wherever the Savior dwells, there is safety. safety. And his name is who? Jesus. Jesus. Help me call him one more time. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Give the Lord the biggest clap offer. Turn around becomes your new identity from this hour. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. It's also important for us to know that God's turnaround agenda is not a once and for all event, but a once and again experience. You are not permitted to suffer stagnation. Yeah. So you have gone around that mountain long enough. No. So from now, the siege of stagnation is broken off your life. Yeah. Deuteronomy chapter 2 and verse 3. You have gone around that mountain long enough. Ye not worry, you, you stay there too long. Stagnant water stings. You are not redeemed to sting, you are redeemed to shine. Every thinking thing around anyone under the canopy of Shiloh comes to an end tonight. God has ordained continuous turnaround experience for his children. The path of the justified who we are is as a shining light that shines more and more and more and more unto the perfect day. 
Welcome to your era of more and more and more. Welcome to your era of shining brighter and brighter and brighter. The perfect day means the day that Jesus returns. He said when the perfect comes, the perfect will go away. The perfect means the day Jesus returns. So our path is ordained to shine more and more and more until Jesus returns. And that's who God is talking about. You'll never record a better last year anymore in your life. You'll never record a better last year anymore in your life. Just like his nature, God just suddenly showed up in Genesis chapter 1. Suddenly. He suddenly just showed up to Abraham. No premonitions. Many will experience such sudden visitation on this mountain. <laughs> and will become your new experience in life. <laughs> God's turnaround agenda is released more often than not suddenly. 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 Suddenly, suddenly, because today God operates by the Holy Spirit in relating to us, He shall receive of mine and will show it to you. And He calls Him the Lord whom you seek shall come suddenly into His temple. Malachi chapter 3. So the Holy Ghost comes suddenly to us to unveil to us God's turnaround agenda for the moment. Suddenly. This old mandate came suddenly. It's not that let's go and pray and hear what God is saying. Suddenly. Seek a quiet place. I want to talk to you. That's how it came. Mission to Africa came suddenly. I was in the car coming from Zaria to Kaduna. The harvest of Africa is now right now rushing up preserve from the, the gardens. Suddenly. Faith Tabernacle came suddenly. I was on the platform. I was on the pulpit. It was not in the meeting. That shall be dedicated September 18. I was on the pulpit. It came suddenly. Came suddenly. We need to understand God's nature of turnaround. We are visited more often than not suddenly. 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 You won't miss a sudden visitation again. <laughs> You will not miss a sudden visitation again. Yeah. You will not miss a sudden visitation again. Yeah. Suddenly, God visited Moses. The greatest prophet of Bible times came out of that. Yes, yes, yes. Suddenly. Suddenly. He was keeping his father's sheep and then he saw the bush burning. He said, let me turn to see this side. Suddenly. Suddenly. It was a, I mean, the Holy Ghost is a God of suddenness. Amen. Amen. Suddenly, there was a sound and a voice in the upper room. Acts chapter 2. Suddenly. Malachi chapter 3. He will come into his temple suddenly. That's what he does. That's his way of doing things. Most of us have missed a lot of turnaround encounters with God because we are not sensitive to his sudden nature of visitation. Suddenly. Suddenly. Praise God. You won't miss it anymore. You will not miss it anymore. You will not miss it anymore. You will not miss it anymore. Miss it anymore. Miss it anymore. That's why we have to be men and women of the spirit. I was in the spirit and I had. We have to be men and women of the spirit. We have to be men and women of the spirit. I was in the bedroom when God said, Arise, get down to Lagos, raise me people. I wasn't in the church. I never prayed to go to Lagos. 
Suddenly. Suddenly. There shall be a lot of sudden visitations at Shiloh 2020. God just showing you the way to go. Showing you the next step to take. Showing you what to do. Showing you what turn to make. Showing you what to stop. You won't miss it. As we round up tonight, listen. This sudden visitation demands prompt response. Demands what? Prompt response. Prompt response for delivery. This sudden visitation, turn around visitation, they, they demand prompt response for delivery. This old Monday was delivered 2nd of May, 1981. The last Friday of that same month, we began the first meeting on this platform. First church planting phase came April 20, 1987. We dived into it. And by May, the first five churches were planted. Mission to Africa was delivered on the 4th of May, 1994. The next Friday, we dedicated that mission in the church at our breakthrough night. By 14th of June, we opened the office. The man that followed. By the beginning of January 1995, uh, uh, our first set of missionaries moved out. God said to Abraham, depart. And so Abraham departed. Sacrifice the only son to me. Abraham rose up early in the morning. It takes prompt response to maximize God's turnaround agenda. What do I call it? Prompt response. Prompt response. He will build this tabernacle. He will dedicate it. He told us 17th of September 1998. 18th of September, we are here on this side. On this side. 18th, the day that followed. Nobody could sleep almost the, till the morning. We came here and we are drawing this, the rope to show where the building will be. Prompt response. Prompt response. Whosoever first steps in is made of whatever disease. When God steers in, step in. You don't step in, you miss it. You don't step in, it's gone. 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 Many have lost so many divine opportunities to procrastination, to slow motion, to go not to go, to move not to move. To rise, not to rise. Many. But tonight on this ground of prompt action, we are going with that grace of promptness. Yeah. Wherever you may be around the world today, under the sound of my voice, you are going with that grace of promptness. Yeah. Let's conclude tonight every apostolic grace is available to whosoever is interested freely ye are given freely give there is no apostolic grace on this earth that is not replicable available to whosoever is interested paul the apostle said you are all partakers of my grace you are all partakers of my grace so it, it's available to whosoever is interested. It's available to all but accessible only by whosoever is interested. The grace for promptness. The grace for promptness. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Paul said, I arose immediately and I confirmed not with flesh and blood. Peter left all and followed Jesus promptly. Elisha left all and followed Elisha promptly. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever I hear anything clearly from God, I have no problem. I've never had to think twice on it. You walk to my office, 1996, while preparing for seminar, and I said, God just told me now it's time to get the aircraft. Very funny statement. You say, Praise the Lord. And then you walked away. <laughs> Amen. Amen. 
And I go to the meeting and I say, God told me this money is time to get the aircraft. So, uh, you want to give? Give as much as you have. God is not in need. We announced it once. Saturday morning. No reminder. No, you know, calling meeting. No nothing. We did that. As soon as that service was over, I called the aviation people to come. Hello, we are buying an aircraft. I'm sure you had it in the church. So, they say, which kind? I said, go and bring the kind you have. Amen. Now we have been flying since September 18, 1996, till forever. Amen. Amen. Just imagine that Naaman went back to Syria to attend a meeting before returning to Jordan. He won't let swim, he can't be cleansed. When God speaks, move. You don't move, you are removed. When God speaks, move. Just be sure it's God, not ego. God speaks, move. God speaks, move. God knows I will never tell myself that this video will be done in one year. God knows I won't tell myself that forever. Not even a dream. But I had God. I had God. I had God. Now, from this mountain, God will restore your spiritual hearing. 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 Well, this campus is a turnaround testimony. All has its root in the voice of God. Lord, what are you saying? This is the place. I won't tell myself that. It's so awkward. But that's what God said. And when you respond accordingly, it shows up. You won't miss God anymore. Amen. You will not miss God anymore. Amen. You will not miss God anymore. Amen. We have come down with three main things tonight. Number one, you have a turnaround father. The creator of the ends of the earth. You have a turnaround savior. Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. You have the turnaround Holy Ghost inside you. You belong to the household of God. The turnaround family. You belong to the church of Christ. Who is a turnaround savior. So you have turnaround genes in your system. And from now, in the name of Jesus... Turn around becomes your new identity. Yeah. Say with me, I have a turnaround heritage in redemption. Yeah. With God as my father, yeah. Jesus my savior, yeah. and the Holy Ghost my helper. Yeah. I have a turnaround heritage in redemption. I now belong to the household of God. The turnaround family. I belong to the church of Christ. The ruling and reigning body of Christ on the earth. Turnaround is my heritage in redemption. Turnaround is my heritage in redemption. Lift up your right hand, everybody. And thank God for your turnaround heritage. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Amen. Now, expect to be suddenly visited Amen. every moment of Shiloh 2020. Amen. 
expect to be visited suddenly yeah. every moment of Shiloh 2020 yeah. through desire a man never separated himself seeketh and intermeddled with all wisdom just expect and position yourself for your sudden visitations yeah. I was in Tulsa 1986 desperate to encounter the spirit of faith at working again I couldn't tell who sat on my right or who sat on my left I could not remember the name of the hotel I didn't even look at it I was on a mission my eyes were fixed and suddenly something electric was fired into my, to me where I sat and in the gallery in the gallery I burst into tears uncontrollably sir. And the voice of the Lord came and said, My son David, the baton has been passed over to you. See the effect of that baton today. Stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused. Don't just be part of the ceremony here. Long for your encounter. Desire that encounter. So I hear from God every day. Every moment. Sir. Nothing strengthens. I've been able to hear from heaven. Nothing. Nothing. But hear what the word says. As the wind blows, we at least, and you hear the sound, the Arab, but can't tell where it's going or where it's coming. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. And that's you. You are redeemed and amazement to your world. And an amazement we be from henceforth. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So get set for it. And it's starting right now. Yes. I say it's starting right now. Yes. Many will pick very clear instructions between now and the morning. <laughs> Many will be so reproved between now and tomorrow morning. Many will receive great corrections between now and the morning. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be. Again, lift up your hand to heaven and ask God for grace, for spiritual sensitivity like we are told in the first world. Spiritual alertness. In Jesus precious name we are praying Amen. very quickly tonight there are people out here you want to belong to this wonder turnaround family you want to belong to become a member of the household of God one way accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior you are born again and God becomes your father and you belong to this turnaround family to which most of us here belong to and you will know the difference. It's always very clear. The difference is always very clear. You want to be saved tonight. You want your sins forgiven tonight. I'll be glad to pray with you. Wherever you are, under the sound of my voice, around the world, please, if you'd like me to pray this prayer with you, stand to your feet. God bless you. God bless you. You want to surrender your life to Christ? You want to be born again? You want your sins to be forgiven you? You want to belong to God's turn around family? Stand to your feet. God bless you. Somebody else needs to get up wherever you are. Please get up quickly and let's pray. Across all our view centers around the world, please stand to your feet. You'd like to be prayed with, stand to your feet. Now, everybody standing, please bow your heads for prayers. Lift up your right hand to heaven. 
and pray this prayer along with me say after me Lord Jesus I surrender my life to you tonight forgive me all my sins wash me with your blood I believe you died for me on the third day you rose again that I may be justified right now I believe my sins are now forgiven I'm justified by your blood and I accept you as my Lord and my Savior and I believe that I'm now saved I'm born again I'm now a child of God I now belong to the household of God to enjoy my turnaround heritage thank you Jesus for saving my soul and by your grace I will end my journey with you in eternity thank you Lord for saving my soul amen now keep your hands up as I pray father I pray over these precious souls your grace has brought them in let the same grace preserve them Amen. you shall not fail Amen. you shall make it to the end Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. then you shall not have his way in your life Amen. in Jesus precious name Amen. the grace that brought you in today will, will keep you for life Amen. in Jesus precious name Amen. Amen. Congratulations. 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 Please complete those forms that's given to you and pass them back to those officials in your various centers where you are. We'd like to be part of your joy and help us of your faith. Please do that and do that with excitement and Jesus will honor you as you do so in the name of Jesus. Now, how many of us have believed that we belong to God's turnaround family? How many believe they have a turnaround heritage in Christ? Now, whatever you cannot imagine in your new lineage that is now operating in your life, you have the legal right to reject. Because it's not your portion. Is sickness in that lineage? Is disease in that lineage? Is blindness in that lineage? Is deafness in that lineage? Is failure in that lineage? Is fear in that lineage? Whatever you cannot imagine in your new lineage, you have the right to reject. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven is our redemptive right to say no to what we don't want and yes to what we know belongs to us amen you have that in so come and say i have a redemptive right, have a redemptive right. To, reject. to reject whatever, whatever. Does, not does not belong to me, to me. in my new lineage i now belong to the household of god there is no sickness there there is no disease there there is no failure there there is no frustration there. There is no fear there. I must be free tonight. Whatever cannot be found there must not go back with me. Whatever cannot be found in that lineage must not go back with me tonight. Now listen to this very funny testimony. I had this trouble with running nose and I concluded it was because all the roads were dusty. So suddenly they called to me, if Christ were walking on this road, will he have running nose? No. And I was going to minister. 1979. So I took the handkerchief with me. I threw it out while I got to the platform. They thought I mistakenly threw it. So the brother said, no, 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 hold it. I said to Jesus, if he touches my mouth, I won't touch it. He dried from that time on. Your knowledge of your right is power. Somebody here tonight is dropping an unwanted issue in your life. And it will never reoccur again.
Now, 1979 to 2020, that's quite some time. That's 41 years. It has never reoccurred. Can this happen to Christ? No, it must happen to me. Now, think of that situation you're going through. Can Jesus be under this siege? No. So I'm free. Can Jesus be tormented by general causes? No. I'm free. Can Jesus be living with migraine? No. I'm free. I'm free. Remember the violent take it by rest on your feet, everybody. Now, between you and your God, whatever you know that you know does not belong to your new lineage in Christ. Now, reject it. Go ahead and pray. Make your violent demand. Confusion is not there. Fear is not there. Whatever is not in your new lineage is not permitted in your life. If anybody came here with any head situation, I'd like you to put your hand where that may be. You don't know where it is, put your hand on your chest. If there's an issue of internal problem, put your hand on your chest. And in the name of Jesus Christ, unto whom we have all come, because he's the one called Shiloh. Jesus is Shiloh personified. He said, come, learn of me, and you find rest for your soul. Yes. I decree 
rest to your body. Every organ of your body finds glorious rest now. Every terminal disease is caused from the roots now. Disability, eye problem, blindness, partial blindness, total blindness, deafness, partial or total, dumbness, stroke paralysis. I cause them all from the roots in the name of Jesus. <laughs> I decree your instant rescue now. <laughs> Every conception hindering situation. Everything against anyone's fruitfulness under the sound of my voice is caused from the roots in the name of Jesus. As you go tonight, be cleansed. You wake up in the morning into a brand new world. You wake up tomorrow morning into a brand new world. You are waking up tomorrow morning into a brand new world. Sickle cell anemia gone forever. Cancer is flushed out of anyone's system. <laughs> HIV AIDS is caused forever. <laughs> COVID-19 is caused forever. <laughs> it shall not torment the world anymore. <laughs> the fear of COVID-19 comes to an end today. <laughs> Every nation is hereby delivered. Yeah. Every community delivered. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. So shall it be. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Yeah. How many believe they have received their own? Let me see your hands. Give the Lord the biggest clap of you. Amen. The good news is the testimony from tonight will start pouring out in torrents tomorrow. <laughs> Somebody's testimony has taken place already. <laughs> On Sunday, in our second service, somebody was delivered from glycoma. It's a lineage problem in their family. They say, I can see clearly. Everything has cleared up. Just like that. Everyone under that prophetic sound, you are free forever. Yeah. One more time, give the Lord Jesus the biggest clap of it. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. It's our first night. Um, we're glad to have a number of anointed men and women of God here. Great ministries impacting the world. Um, not just Nigeria, impacting the world around, you are most welcome. And expect to return with greater grace. Amen. You have come to me with Jesus. You are returning with additional grace. Amen. You are returning with multiplied grace. Amen. The impact of your various ministries is just beginning. Amen. The impact of our various ministries is just beginning. Amen. Greater days lie ahead, Amen. and they'll be coming faster than 
expected? In the name of Jesus Christ. We are on this mountain of turn around encounters. So be there with your note at all times. What thou seest, write. Write for appropriate action. Write for appropriate action. Proof what to hear. Proof what to see. And document them for appropriate action. Document them for appropriate action. You hear me reading out dates and times and seasons over the years. They, they are all impacts of the world that came across, that I valued, embraced, and acted upon. Some are bothered that we share so much testimony. We have to. Every apostolic ministry is validated by the things they have seen, the things they have heard, and the things they hand around. Amen. Amen. I can tell you how to pursue God without a budget. I've seen it several. Amen. Amen. I can see how to be relaxed at all points. You walk with God. I've been. I've not had a sleepless night once. Praise God. Hallelujah. I can see how to obey God. The circumstances not withstanding. How do you plant 10,000 churches under the, year, the lockdown year? That's their ceremony. When God speaks, circumstances bow. They are all there. Please be alive and be awake. This will be one event you will live to remember for life. Because just one step will open up great chapters in your life. As God speaks to you directly. In the name of Jesus. Be blessed as you go tonight. Have the best of time with God in your rest. Amen. Wake up in the morning with a shout of victory. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lift up your hands and give him thanks. If you have been blessed, clap some more for the Lord, everybody. Come on, give God a big shout as you clap at the same time. Woo! Wave those beautiful hands again. We cannot close this service tonight without thanking him again for his visitation. Will you thank him? Will you thank him? Will you thank him? Thank him to place a seal on the blessing you've received tonight. Thank him to place a seal on the blessing you've received. Give him the glory. Give him the glory. Give him the praise. Give him the honor. Give him the thanks. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. And blessed be God. And thank him. And thank him. And rejoice in him. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have given thanks. 5.30 a.m. We will all be gathered to begin the day at the Shiloh prayer hour. The Lord will continue to visit you on this mountain in the precious name of Jesus. Loudly, joyfully, let us share the goodness of the Lord. Surely, God, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. It is my year of breaking limits. Then what eyes have not seen nor ears heard shall be your experience all through the year 2020. Congratulations. Amen and amen. Have a beautiful night.